you for making us your pharmacy for over 17 years. Cox Family Pharmacy, we're trusted. Tired of long wait lines or no one answering the phone at chain pharmacies? At Cox Family Pharmacy, a real person answers the phone and we do our best to make sure you and your family are well taken care of. Choose Cox Family Pharmacy, we're trusted. Hi, I'm Peyton Manning and I'm partnering with the American Red Cross this year to tackle blood shortages. Giving blood's important because every two seconds someone actually needs blood and unfortunately only like 3% of the U.S. population donates. So we have to step up to give and to make sure there's plenty of blood available for those in need. Visit redcrossblood.org to get in the game and make an appointment to give. Be prepared for heart healthy hunting. As an ER physician, I've seen this many times, strokes and heart attacks that occur while men and women alike are in the woods. Know the signs and symptoms of a heart attack and stroke. Be aware and be prepared. Fall means cooler weather and a deal from CAS Cable tastier than pumpkin spice. Right now, new customers can buy one month of internet service from CAS Cable and get a second month free. Work, stream, and game from home with confidence that your connection will be fast and reliable. Take advantage of this unbelievable deal this fall from CAS Cable. Get it? Unbelievable? Leaf? Like fall? Are you going through a difficult divorce or separation and struggling to come to an agreement on custody arrangements for your children? Raber Law Offices is here to help. Justin Raber is an experienced and compassionate attorney who understands the sensitive nature of custody battles and will work tirelessly to protect your rights as a parent and ensure the best interests of your children are met. Don't let custody issues cause more stress and anxiety. Contact us today to schedule a consultation. Call 304-893-9145. Do you have what it takes to be a firefighter for the city of Parkersburg? Applications are now available to join our team. Interested applicants should be between the ages of 18 and 35 and in good physical condition. The exam date is December 16th. For all the details and to download an application, go to parkersburgwv.gov firefighter or scan the QR code on the screen. Serve your community and start a rewarding career with the Parkersburg Fire Department. Application deadline is December 6th. I tell you what, being at JR's Donut Castle Donut is the best. Why's that? Because they're always fresh and made from the best ingredients. I'm telling you, people love us. Uh... Plus, we get to hang out with all the other great stuff like pepperoni rolls, muffins, and cookies. They're going to eat us. There's pies and cakes and brownies. They're going to eat us. It just doesn't get any better than being at JR's Donut Castle Donut. Ah! See you around, pal. What a lucky guy. Healthy relationships, it's how we think about primary care at Camden Clark. When you choose one of our providers, you're starting a relationship with access to award-winning specialty care, diagnostics, and my WVU chart. Our state-of-the-art user-friendly electronic medical records that's at your fingertips. Caring for you for over 125 years, we're the only local community health care providers backed by the power of WVU medicine. Healthy relationships start here. 
Rejuvenation Laser and Skin Center wants to welcome three new state-of-the-art machines to their location. The physique targets stubborn areas that regular diet and exercise have trouble with to help you get the results you've been looking for. The Tetra is a CO2 laser that offers fully customizable skin treatments to help improve fine lines and wrinkles, scars, and more. The Pico helps remove tattoos and dark spots by offering laser skin resurfacing with no downtime. Call 740-538-9943 to book your appointment. Thank you to our friends at CAS Cable for being our sponsors for Belpre Homecoming. Thank you, CAS Cable, for supporting the Parkersburg South Marching Band. Thank you, CAS Cable, for supporting Discovery World! Chilly weather's here, so it's time to call Morrison Incorporated today and schedule your fall furnace check and tune-up. Still, for just $90, we'll test, clean, and adjust your home's heating system so it's safe and ready to keep you warm this winter. We're not looking for problems, we're looking to prevent them. Call 373-5869 or book your appointment online at morrisonhvac.com. Morrison Incorporated, always ready. With Bryant, whatever it takes. Restrictions apply. It's game time, and One Community Federal Credit Union is here to help you tackle your financial goals. With our convenient and secure electronic banking and mobile services, we're taking our customer service experience to the next level. Plus, our CD rates are some of the best around, so you get more bang for your buck. When you need a loan, One Community can get you a great rate and a fast decision made locally. It all adds up to us being the Mid-Ohio Valley's winning team. One Community Federal Credit Union, online at onecommunityfcu.org. everybody and welcome to Erickson All Sports Facility as we get ready for high school football as the Princeton Tigers are in town to take on the Parkersburg South Patriots. High school football presented by WVU Medicine, Camden Clark. My name is Brian Guthrie. Joining me tonight, the man, the myth, the legend, Joe <laughs> Oliverio. And uh, Joe, we've got a game between a couple of teams that are playoff bound. I, I Coming into this and, and later on here when we talk to Coach Tanner, you'll, you'll – uh, You'll have to forgive my ignorance before I ask him about it, but uh, South is already in at six and three, regardless of the outcome of this game. Because they're sitting right now at 14th, right? They're so at they're 14. in. That's a good feeling. Musselman and Parkersburg are right behind at 15-16, and they're playing each other tonight over in the Eastern Panhandle. But Princeton at eight and one is shooting to get into that top four and get those two home games in the playoffs. And these Tigers come in scoring loads of points. The fewest amount that they've scored this year is 27. And they've hung the 55, a double nickel, the last couple of times out against Greenbrier East and Woodrow Wilson. So we could see a bit of a shootout like, like these two teams played last year. Well, and I think we saw that the last two years they've scored a combined 82, 83 points each game uh, for that. So it looks like it'll be high offense. Uh, well, lovely night, a little, little cool brisk, but the sun down there behind <laughs> us is getting ready to set. Our camera gals are already taking pictures of it. <laughs> so it should be a lovely night. Cool crisp air, as they say, for football. Cool crisp air. And uh, as I mentioned last week, Princeton beating Greenbrier East 55 to nothing. South kind of the opposite. They went up to Wheeling Island and got housed 64-14, and it wasn't even that close by the Wheeling Park Patriots. So they're trying to lick their wounds off of that one and, and – um, as I said, they're in, but now they're just kind of playing for seeding because maybe you want to stay away from what you don't want to be 16. Nobody ever wants no, to be 16. Because that's AAA. usually a trip to Martinsburg. <laughs> <laughs> it has no. been in the, in the past, yeah. Um, we're going to see all kinds of offense, as you mentioned. We, you know, we're familiar with the offense the Patriots put out there. We saw it earlier this year against Parkersburg. You're going to get a, uh, a steady dose of Gage Wright running the football, and, and he's just 
he's just a bowling ball when he's got a head of steam. It's it's hard to get in front of him and stop him. And then Princeton's got uh, Markel Lowe. So as a <laughs> WVU guy, why don't you tell us about Markel's oh. visit to Morgantown? Markel went up to the uh, the summer WVU camp and was clocked the fastest at like a 4.2-ish something in the 40. The fastest of anyone in that camp ever. <laughs> And that, so, that word ever is important. Yeah. So he's legit the fastest guy in the state. <laughs> and he's going to be returning kicks, and he's going to be running the ball for the Tigers. So he is going to be n number five uh, for Princeton is going to be a guy you want to keep your eyes on. Also, Chance Barker, he's a sophomore quarterback, but he's already setting records uh, for those Tigers. 30 touchdown passes already this season, most in a single season with still a game you have to play. And uh, 216 more passing yards, and he sets the, the passing yard record for a single season for Princeton. And that's a team with a, with a, a long playoff history. So these are, they've run out some good teams. So South has got their work cut out for them. We're going to take a timeout. When we come back, we'll talk to uh, both Princeton and South's head coaches. We get ready for kickoff here at Erickson. It's Princeton and Parkersburg South High School football presented by WV Medicine Camden Clark here on CAS 45. Healthy relationships, it's how we think about primary care at Camden Clark. When you choose one of our providers, you're starting a relationship with access to award-winning specialty care, diagnostics, and my WVU chart. Our state-of-the-art user-friendly electronic medical records that's at your fingertips. Caring for you for over 125 years, we're the only local community health care providers backed by the power of WVU medicine. Healthy relationships start here. Rejuvenation Laser and Skin Center wants to welcome three new state-of-the-art machines to their location. The Physique targets stubborn areas that regular diet and exercise have trouble with to help you get the results you've been looking for. The Tetra is a CO2 laser that offers fully customizable skin treatments to help improve fine lines and wrinkles, scars, and more. The Pico helps remove tattoos and dark spots by offering laser skin resurfacing with no downtime. Call 740-538-9943 to book your appointment. Welcome back to the pregame show. Joining me now, Keith Taylor, head coach of the Princeton Tigers. Coach, congratulations on a fantastic season with your with your team. Thank you. Greatly appreciate it. So you guys are coming off another big win over Greenbrier East. Now you're the long road trip up the turnpike to Parkersburg to wrap up the season with Parkersburg South. You guys are already in, but what would it mean to go in with a head of steam after beating the Patriots? Yeah, we absolutely, you know, we want to handle business every week, but this is a big time. It's a big time game for us. It's a big time point game for us. You know, winning this game would set us up possibly to host two games at home. So it's a huge game for us, and we've never won here. So that's what we want to do. Your team likes to spread it out and score a lot of points. What, uh, what do you like most about your squad? Um, just first of all, I think we got a great offensive line. They allow us, you know, allow our, our quarterback, who's a, who's a young guy now. He's, he was a sophomore. He's pretty much a junior now. That's what we always say. Uh, he's done a great job. But you know, our offensive line does a great job giving him the ball, giving him time to get the ball out to our playmakers. We got we got playmakers all over the field. You know, we got Dom Collins out wide. We got Brad Mosser out wide. Mikey DiGiacomo, Caleb Kaiser in the slot. Wyatt Klein in the slot. You know, you got Markel Lowe who can always run the ball. We're, we're pretty good offensively, and I think if we stick to our game plan, we'll be all right tonight. Patriots are coming off a rough trip to the island against Wheeling Park. Is there anything you take off a tape from that game, or is it just basically a throwaway? You know what Coach Tanner is going to put on the field. Yeah, I think what happened was the game got out of control early, and it just snowballed from there. I don't think you could take anything from that. Parkersburg South is a great team. They're well coached. Coach Tanner is going to have them ready to come at us. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I think it's going to make them more prepared to play us uh, instead if they would have just went up there and blew them out. Last year's game down in Princeton at Honeycutt Stadium was gotten to a shootout. Um, are you good with a track meet, or are you going to try and slow things down? You know, as long as we win the game, it doesn't matter to me. You could be, you know, 100 to 99, or it could be 7 to 6. It doesn't matter to me. As long as my kids go out there and they play well, that's all I can ask for. What's a couple keys to the game you got to see for you guys to win? I think we got to control the line of scrimmage. Um, I think we got to be able to stop number two, Gage Wright. Uh, I think he's a heck of a football player. Defensively, we're going to have to slow him down, uh, do what we can to not let him get going, make them throw the ball, and then offensively, just do what we do, control the ball, make sure we don't have any stupid turnovers or stupid penalties. Good luck tonight, Coach. Appreciate it. More of the pregame show coming up after this on CAS 45. At Cox Family Pharmacy, we've built our reputation by taking exceptional care of our patients. Our team takes the time to get to know you and your family so you can get the help and service that you deserve. Thank you for making us your pharmacy for over 17 years. Cox Family Pharmacy, we're trusted. 
It's game time, and One Community Federal Credit Union is here to help you tackle your financial goals. With our convenient and secure electronic banking and mobile services, we're taking our customer service experience to the next level. Plus, our CD rates are some of the best around, so you get more bang for your buck. When you need a loan, One Community can get you a great rate and a fast decision made locally. It all adds up to us being the Mid-Ohio Valley's winning team. One Community Federal Credit Union, online at onecommunityfcu.org. Tired of long wait lines or no one answering the phone at chain pharmacies? At Cox Family Pharmacy, a real person answers the phone and we do our best to make sure you and your family are well taken care of. Choose Cox Family Pharmacy. We're trusted. Welcome back to the pregame show. Joining me now, Parkersburg South Head Coach Nathan Tanner. And Coach, first off, congratulations. You've had a good year. Not really the best week last week, but you guys have, have put together a pretty good uh, campaign. I appreciate the kind words. Yeah, um, la last week that was a... That was a tough outing. Um, we've tried to clean the slate this week, and we, we hope we can bounce back tonight. How easy is it to have a short memory after a game like that? Uh, it, it's tough. It's it's uh, easier said than done. <laughs> but I, I think our kids are prepared for tonight. We just got to go out and capitalize with the opportunity that's out in front of us. So tonight you wrap the season, uh, wrap the regular season up with a very tough Princeton team. They can score points in bunches. What have you seen on tape from the Tigers? Um, you know, offensively, they, they have some special kids. Their tailback, he's really good. Um, they have a receiver. He's probably the fastest football player in West Virginia. Um, you know, I, and I, I'll say that literally. I mean, he, yeah, he, yeah, I, he I can. I saw the tape. Yeah, he, yeah, he, can, he can fly. Um, they have one kid up front. Uh, he plays right guard for them. Um, he signed to go to Air Force. He's a he's a special player. They have uh, and several other kids that that play really good football. So um, they're a team that does it by committee and they do it together. So it's going to be a tough out. So you guys are are in the in the teens as far as the the playoff race goes. This uh, a win tonight goes a long way to, to assuring you a spot in the game in the uh, in the tournament. Is that anything that you talk about or I, I know you try to it's probably got to take care of the game in front of you but I, I'm answering the question for you <laughs> yeah, no you're fine well um I don't know if people know this we're, we're in regardless whether okay. if it's a win or a loss but um you know like every week we're going to try to come out and get a win and go one and oh this week and in regards to the playoffs it would just it would just you know create a better seed and a better situation for us if okay. we do come out with a win I didn't know that, so I'm glad. I'm glad you let me know that. That's yes, good. Sir. So, what do you got to see out of your guys tonight to beat this Princeton team? Well, you know, offensively, um, we got we got to uh, find a rhythm within ourselves. Um, we just got to find a rhythm and um, do good at what we do. Um, defensively, obviously, we talked about the Collins kid, number five. He's uh, he's really talented. We got to keep leverage on him at all times. Um, their tailback, he's really, really good. In between the tackles, we've got to keep him bottled up as well. Um, just play stingy defense and make them drive it down the field. And uh, the kicking game, we can't let any explosive plays happen, um, you know, on their end. So uh, winning the kicking game would be paramount as well. Uh, just one last thing. It's the last regular season game for a special group of seniors you got here. Can you tell me a little bit about what they've meant to this program? Yeah, they, they've meant a lot. Um, since since they've come to the high school, they've had a lot of success at the freshman, JV, and varsity levels. Um, they've been a part of a state runner-up team. Um, they've been a part of, if you include that season, two, two previous seasons where we've been to the playoffs, this will be their third. Mm -hmm. So um, there haven't been a lot of teams in South's history that have done what these seniors have done. Well, good luck tonight, Coach, and uh, hope you have a good game against Princeton. All right, thank you. We're getting close to kickoff. It's coming up next here on CAS 45 High School Football presented by WVU Medicine, Camden Clark. DePaulo's Pizzeria, located at 1403 Grand Central Avenue in Vienna, welcomes you to try their all-you-can-eat buffet. Join us Monday through Friday, 11 to 2, as well as Sundays, 11 to 2 and 5 to 8. Enjoy our salad bar, pizza, pasta, subs, cheesy bread, calzones, pepperoni rolls, and desserts. We are proud to be a local family-owned business and look forward to serving your family at DePaulo's. Oh, trees decorated and fluffed? Check. Oh, gourmet foods all lined up and, oh yes, fresh samples? Check. Festive wreaths and perfect bows? Check. 
Well, she said we're ready, and you cannot argue with Mrs. Claus. Join us for our Christmas open house November 4th, 5th, and 6th. And welcome back to Crown. Welcome back to your Christmas happy place. Chili Weather's here, so it's time to call Morrison Incorporated today and schedule your fall furnace check and tune-up. Still, for just $90, we'll test, clean, and adjust your home's heating system so it's safe and ready to keep you warm this winter. We're not looking for problems. We're looking to prevent them. Call 373-5869 or book your appointment online at morrisonhvac.com. Morrison Incorporated, always ready. With Bryant, whatever it takes. Restrictions apply. Military veterans who have served their country honorably cannot be thanked enough. Part of that appreciation comes from some of the benefits that we can provide here at the Washington County Veterans Service Office. From help filing your VA compensation claims to temporary financial assistance, even transportation to your VA medical appointments, the Veterans Service Commission is here to help you. So if you or your immediate family member is an honorably discharged veteran in Washington County, call today or stop by our office and find out how we can provide the thanks of a grateful nation. Back here at Erickson All Sports Facility as the captains head to the middle of the field, getting ready for Parkersburg South in the dark blue to take on uh, Princeton in their white jerseys tonight, black helmets, sharp look. Uh, South in their all uh, dark blue as you can see the uh, Patriots getting ready to come out of their big inflatable helmet filling with fog. <laughs> There's going to be about fog coming off the river here before, <laughs> before too long <laughs> as the temperature dips again from 60 to about 30, I think here just since the sun went down. But uh, Brian Guthrie, Joe Oliverio, happy to have you tuned in here. And uh, um, again, thanks to uh, Moose, Jason Reed from JR1 Sports down in Princeton for supplying us with all kinds of information. Um, they weren't able to come up and stream, so I uh, hope that uh, we're... Uh, a worthy works, substitute oh, that's, for that. I was going to say <laughs> acceptable, but worthy we'll substitute worthy. Sounds, better. <laughs> sounds better. So we're thinking of you all down there in Princeton. We didn't have to do the three tolls to get there. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't need to do the tolls to come on up. Princeton is going to get the football as uh, our head official, Rex Foster, makes the signal out there. And the Tigers coming out of the locker room. Hey, Eli Campbell. One of the captains for Princeton, senior down there, 6'3", 290 pounds. That's a lot of, that's he, a lot of fella. He dwarfed a lot of the <laughs> captains and the officials there at the opening toss. Hey, shout out to the Parkersburg South Band under the direction of Greg Myers. Uh, they performed at the Tri-State contest this past weekend uh, down in Huntington. Received third place out of 31 bands. Nice. So they did our national anthem for us tonight. That band's always very positive and very well, so congrats to them for completing their season. Here come the Patriots. I think the bagpiper's a nice touch. I think that's a, that's, that's a really adds something while they're in the helmet. <laughs> nice to see the cheerleaders have gone to the Arctic Whites. The Arctic Whites. <laughs> they're, they're properly attired for the evening. Same way with the uh, the silk line. They've got, you know, the long pants and everything over yep. there. So. Where are your long pants? Uh, Common sense is prevailing here. Uh, <laughs> Keith Taylor, head coach of the uh, the Tigers. Uh, we talked to him a little bit ago. He uh, A longtime assistant, uh, like a decade plus, that he's been with the high school or middle school teams back and forth. Uh, this is his first season as the head, head coach. Uh, really just kind of assumed the job over the summer when the, the previous coach retired, and, and uh, he inherited a, a, a full cabinet of uh, offensive and defensive weapons. And and uh, he's like, I'm just going to keep rolling I'm with what the previous coach had, had going. I mean, there's no reason for me to come in and change everything. I'm, I know the system. I'm from here. I love the system. We're running the system. And so the Tigers continued success as they are heading to uh, heading to the playoffs again. It's a good system. Looks like South's going to kick off from the 40, but uh, we don't have anyone deep back for Princeton. They're standing right about the 23, 24 yard line. They may not be expecting much. So I, 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 got, I gave you the wrong number. Uh, Markel Lowe, who was a junior, is number three. And that is the guy that may be a blur for most of the evening <laughs> as, again, fastest 40 time at WVU camp. 
ever. ever. And uh, he's in the and back. And there's been some dudes that there's have gone go. through that camp. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Brad Monster's also back for Princeton. One, two, three, four, five. Line up on the front there for Princeton. 73, Tyson Wagner has it teed up. Are we looking at an onside kick or something? Yep, it's going to be a short one, and it bounces off oh. several Tigers. Loose near midfield. And let's see what this signal is right out of the gate. Oh. It'll be Princeton ball, and they're going to have a relatively short field here to get things going. Quarterback, uh, as I mentioned, Chance Barker, number 12, he's a sophomore, is already has the most touchdown passes in a season in Tiger history, just a sophomore, and is about 200 yards away from having the most passing yards in a season by a Princeton Tiger. Chance lines up in the shotgun with Markell to his left. We'll see what the Tigers do on first and 10 here with twin receivers each way. And, and a Patriot jumps off sides right out of the gate. That's gonna be number 50, Cole Middleton. Tried to jump the snap count and is gonna give him a free five. So would I be uh, remiss in saying this is an inauspicious start <laughs> for the Patriots? I think you're right on top of it, especially because uh, Parker let's to just throw, going deep sideline and hold in. Number five, Dominic Collins makes a fantastic grab on the far sideline at the 20 and a big chunk of yards for Princeton right out of the gate. No, nothing fancy South, about that. The, nah. the Patriot defensive back was there. And South actually had a hand back on that uh, onside kick. They just muffed it up there in the middle of it. Barker again out of the shotgun. And we'll see him throw again. And again, we'll go out to Collins on the far sideline. And not a whole lot there, but a completed <laughs> ball. Or they, did they say incomplete? Or was complete? No, they moved hey, the chains. They moved they the chains. Have, so second and nine. Princeton quick to get back on the ball. And they've been stayed in the same formation with uh, Monster and Giacoma. Wide right, wide right. Uh, twin receivers each way. And that's going to be Barker on a keeper, and he's going to get nothing. And just like that, after a big first play, two plays for a yard, and it's third and nine. Chance for the Patriots to come up with a big stop here. We've yet to see Lowe touch the football. I imagine this would be a good time for that. L, you faked it to him again. Oh, now Barker blocked in all right. kinds oh. of trouble, and he's going to be slung to the turf back at the 35-yard line. Logan Middleton in there on the big sack. So you see the one community federal credit union replay. Barker just rolled right into it. Middleton got his clamps on him and wouldn't let him go. Poor Shockley tried to get a block on him and just blocked him right into his own quarterback. <laughs> Takes him out of field goal range if they were even thinking about that. Yeah, from I don't the 20, know if they were thinking about that 20, at all. 20, 30, 37 yard. Do they have a 37 yard field goal kicker on Princeton team? Right now we. That's 40s. Well, where they're at now, they're out. If they had yeah, stayed uh, yeah, at that 20. Uh, yeah, going for it. Here on fourth down and 22. Same formation for the Tigers, and it's Barker to throw and a flag and down. And it's going to be a false start on the offense. So fourth and forever got is now fourth and forever in a day. Number 72 for Princeton, big lineman there at 6'4", 270 as a ninth grader. He was out here on his right Yikes. end. So now they'll line up in a punt formation here. Landon Dillon going to do the punting. 
Patriots drop two men deep. Their heels on the 10. I would think you have to be ready for about anything to come from Princeton. And it's going to be a low, ugly knuckler, and it's going to stop by itself just outside the 10-yard line. So mission accomplished, I guess? Considering how that started with ball midfield. Yeah, well, I meant for the punt, but, yeah, yeah as far as the south defense goes, and that, first that was play the that best possible outcome, outcome for that drive. Yeah. So we'll see the Parkersburg South offense for the first time today, led by Turner Garrettson, senior quarterback. Turner was a running back, while Robert Shockey was the quarterback here. Shockey after transferring uh, to Cabell Midland. Garrettson took over. He'll be uh, flanked by Gage right there, number two. And the Patriots will start with three receivers to the, to the uh, wide side of the field. And the ball to right. Gage Wright already picking his way through. There's 15. Oh, oh, he's loose. He's going. It's a foot race, and he will be tracked down from behind. Shockingly, by low, <laughs> he caught up to him in a hurry. <laughs> but already into Princeton territory to south first down. If that same play had gone to the right, he might have been in the end zone. But the fact that he's trying to run it against the fastest guy on this side, easy to catch up ground. So each team starts their drive with a big chunk play. We'll see if South can continue theirs here on first and 10 at the Princeton 43. And it'll be Gage Wright again. And again, he's going to have a big chunk of yards, but and lost the football. Fumble. Tigers say they have it. Officials say they have it. And just like that, it's Princeton football. Wright was pinballing his way through the defense. Had the first down, but had it punched away. Number nine, Calum Kaiser comes up with that fumble. He's excited to hold that ball above the air. And Princeton gets it back. My, how the turns have tabled. Princeton will stay in that same formation with twins each way. Low is the setback. And he will get the football. And we'll see Markel Lowe with his hands on the football for the first time. And he's going to get about three or four. Out to the 38-yard line. I'm impressed with the size of that line for Princeton. You know, you're looking at a 230, 310, 290, 270. I live That's in some Princeton. Big there's young there's men. some good Southern cooking. <laughs> <laughs> <Down there. laughs> and that's what uh, you know, Coach Taylor was saying that he he's he's loves his offensive line that there he's got some real talent up front. We'll see low again here on second down, and he will get past the 45 out to about the 47 and move the chains for the Tigers. 8:28 here in the first quarter. Each team with the football once already. Princeton now on their second go around after the South fumble. I think our listeners are probably going to hear low and right, and they're probably going to think, is this just a one-on-one -on -one game? Yeah, it going might on? be. But that's, uh, that's probably what's going to happen tonight because both teams realize the strength of that. Giacomo in motion again, sets. They'll go to low, and he will be wrapped up at the 50, and it'll take a host of Patriots to drag him down after about an eight yard gain into South Territory. So I, 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 I don't want to say that we're overselling this kid. Uh, but his, his uh, yards after contact, after, after contact pretty uh, outstanding. Uh, rushing the football coming into this game <laughs> He's got a, over 1,000 yards on 121 carries already this season, 14 touchdowns on the ground, and it looks like South jumped again. And it's their second penalty for five yards. They already moved there. I don't know what the discussion is. They moved the wrong way. 
Oh, it's oh. going to be on Princeton. Ooh. Well. I thought I thought South had jumped across, but uh, our man Rex Foster must have been drawn across because you, you you're right. We did see that. So each team now penalized one time. Second and eight after they mark it off. Tigers staying consistent in that set. Here's Barker to throw. And he will complete it out in the flat and will have a first down. That was caught by number 21, Wyatt Klein, and move the chains for the Tigers. Princeton 8-1 and one on this season. Their lone loss, a 56-42 shootout with Hurricane. Hard to score 42 points and lose. That's a hard one to swallow. <laughs> Barker's going to run the option. Pitches yeah, it to Collins. Collins stood up. Now he's going to go back the other way. Getting behind a wall of uh, lockers. And he's going to have the first down and go out of bounds. And a, and flag, a flag from coming. well behind the play. We'll see what this is all about, but Collins all over the place. That's usually where you're going to get a hold because he, he ran 115 yards, yards to get, to get seven, 10. ten. <laughs> and he goes out of bounds at about the 26, and the flag comes from the goal line. Yeah. Uh, So basically a crackback. Gage Wright going to be flagged for that one. Half the distance is going to set them up just outside the 10, Ten. about the 12-yard line. 6-14 here in the first quarter, and Princeton once again knocking on the door. Could not cash in on their first possession. Now looking to capitalize on a south turnover. Where that ball's placed, they will be able to get a first down without scoring if they need to. We're on the 12. Looks like we may have a blitz coming on the and right they come side. Off the end. Barker lost uh, it to the end zone. His man is wide open, and it's a touchdown. And that's Wyatt Klein hauling it in for six. See on the one community federal credit union replay. Klein just got behind everybody. They thought he was running and out, and he just kept going. Ends up wide open in the back of the end zone. Whistles here on the flags on the extra point attempt. It, it's cold. We don't have to have this game take forever. <laughs> <laughs> Am I lined up all sides? How do you line? Now your extra oh. point's gonna be a little further back. How about a 25-yard extra point? Down, up, up. Oh, doink. doink. No good. 6.07 left here in the first. Princeton on the board. 6 nothing. You're watching High School Football presented by WVU Medicine Camden Clark on CAS 45. Healthy relationships, it's how we think about primary care at Camden Clark. When you choose one of our providers, you're starting a relationship with access to award-winning specialty care, diagnostics, and my WVU chart. Our state-of-the-art user-friendly electronic medical records that's at your fingertips. Caring for you for over 125 years, we're the only local community health care providers backed by the power of WVU medicine. Healthy relationships start here. 
It's game time, and One Community Federal Credit Union is here to help you tackle your financial goals. With our convenient and secure electronic banking and mobile services, we're taking our customer service experience to the next level. Plus, our CD rates are some of the best around, so you get more bang for your buck. When you need a loan, One Community can get you a great rate and a fast decision made locally. It all adds up to us being the Mid-Ohio Valley's winning team. One Community Federal Credit Union, online at onecommunityfcu.org. 12-yard touchdown pitch and catch for Princeton from uh, Chance Barker to Wyatt Klein. Offsides on the extra point attempt, moves it back, hits the upright, and we're at 6-0 Princeton. Jake Belcher getting ready to kick off. Freshman. I believe. In, uh, Last year, and they're going to squib kick it up the middle. Both teams not willing to kick it deep to. Uh, uh, sorry, that was. Uh, talented return men. Jace Gum, number 30, was a kicker. Sorry about that, folks. And I mean, you you don't want to kick it deep to Gage right, give him a full head of steam running in your, you know, in your uh, kicking team. Same with kicking it off the low. So don't expect super uh, super kicking game. Maybe they showed their hand when everybody was lined up on the 20s on the opening <laughs> kickoff <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and the ensuing kickoff here. So we'll see what Turner Garrettson and the South offense can do here. Trailing by six here, three receivers to the bottom of your screen. Single man up top. Princeton show and zone. Drops off into flat to Gage Wright. He's gonna stiff arm the first man and he's out across the 40. Gonna pick up about five, maybe six as uh, the lineman keeps moving up there. So a good first down gain for Gage Wright. Turned it over, put it on the ground. Last time South had the football up about four of that on his own after he got met with about three Princeton Tigers. Patriots back up on the football. Fake to Fake right. right. Garrettson's going to keep it himself. Upended just past the line of scrimmage. Yeah, that's good for about one or two. Ooh. So we're looking at third Excuse and me. two, third and one, third and two. Big down for the Patriots. I would imagine they're going to keep it on the ground. With now two backs next to Garrison. And they will Give hand it, it to off. your workhorse. That's going to be Bartley. Up. Eli Bartley, number 11, his first carry of the game. And he is going to be out near midfield and a first down for South. Last week against Wheeling Island South, as uh, as your both coaches mentioned, it just kind of snowballed and got out of control. 44 nothing Wheeling Park over South at the half. Screen pass set up to Gage Wright, makes the first wave miss, still on his feet, and we'll have another first down. Picks up about 13 on that one. That game last week against Wheeling Park, didn't they get down like two touchdowns very early and it just kind of sucked then, the wind then, yeah, out of. Then I think threw a couple interceptions. You get to that point, you know, your your game plan is, Mojo totally is gone. handing it to Gage Wright and you can't score 40 points just, <laughs> you know, handing it off every time as Garrettson's pass falls incomplete right through the hands of, I believe, that was Dylan Fleek. Number eight, I think. Number yeah, eight, I think it yeah, was eight. Dolan Fleek. Right through his hands, maybe he heard the, heard the footsteps coming, but incomplete, and second and 10. <coughs> that only works for me. Oh, sorry about that, folks. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, man, there's a button up here that says cough, so yeah, I had no, to cough. Sorry like... about that. <laughs> I guess modern technology <laughs> needs to be defined. Maybe you didn't read the manual. Here's Gates <laughs> right on second down. And he's going to be stacked up and dropped for about a half a yard loss. Tigers waiting for that one. And it's third and a long 10, 11-ish for the Tigers. And 
South has not had a passing game yet tonight. What, one incompletion and that's it? That's about it. Live and dine with Wright. So we'll see what uh, Coach Tanner wants Trips to Turner the right. Garrison to do this time, and he's going to roll to that right side. Flushed out, steps up, and nothing there, and he's going to be brought down. About a four-yard loss on that. As DiGiacomo makes the stop, and it'll be fourth and one, two, three. 15-ish? Yeah, 14-15. Scoreboard says 14. So out at the 41. And now Devin Forshee is in to punt things, uh, punt it away for the Patriots. We'll see Markel Lowe is the deep man to receive. Lowe will take Thanks it at the, the five. five. Here's the 10, trying to turn the corner with a stiff arm, makes, got away from that guy. Now he's gonna go back the other way, <laughs> see if he can find some blockers. Turns the corner at the 20, 25, 30, and run out of bounds at about the 32. There's legit quickness there. So he picks up 27 yards <laughs> forward, but he really ran about 85. Uh, numbers. You're mentioning the, the, uh, the big guys up front for... Princeton. Princeton, number 60, Eli Campbell, senior, 6'3", 290, is committed to Air Force. Oh. He's going D1. Can't see him in a uh, cockpit of a <laughs> Yeah, no, he's ground crew. Uh, recruited heavily by West Virginia and Virginia Tech, uh, decided on Air Force. On the ground on first down for the Tigers. I would imagine being in Princeton, Tech was looking real hard at him coming yeah. across. Yeah. But. Lowe's going to be good for about seven or eight on that one. Well, they're going to call. That looks like more than six, but okay, second and four according to the scoreboard. And it's take it for what it's worth. The Tigers have used the same set every time. Every time. Here's Lowe again, picking his way through. We'll have the first down, and he's out across the 45 to the 47. And it feels like he's starting to find some seams. I know the Patriots seem to really be trying to grab that ball and strip it from him. And he's he must have some really strong upper body strength because it's not even it's not budging. <laughs> and they're all they're all trying to get it's like if we can't catch him with his feet, we gotta get that ball out yeah. of his hand. Yeah, it's closing in on two minutes to go here in the opening frame. A single Princeton touchdown. Back at the six minute mark. Barker to throw on first down. And that one is complete out to Mosser. Brad Mosser, sophomore receiver, has it in South Territory and will bring up second and short. Like Barker, he's not afraid to throw right, not afraid to throw left. He's thrown underneath, he's thrown the long ball, really mixing up the uh, opportunities with the pass. Second and a long two, and Barker heaves it down the near sideline, looking for Mosser, and overthrows him just by a hair. On the coverage there, Micaiah Claudio. Claudio there with him step for step, but uh, Barker led him just a hair too much. What are you looking for? Claudio. Uh, one. Oh, up top. Doesn't have his height listed, but it looked like there was some height discrepancy <laughs> between uh, the defender and the receiver there. They take a shot on second and short. Now they'll have third and short. And Barker and will run the option. Pitches out to Mosser. He'll have the corner. First down and more for the Tigers. And down near the 30. And another big chunk for Princeton. Right 
Defense for South has been out there quite a lot this first quarter. I wonder how that's going to play out the rest of the game. Handoff goes to low on first down and slung down to the turf at the 27-yard line. <laughs> one it's of about all you get your arms around his waist and just hang on for hang dear on. life. <laughs> one of the earlier CAS games we called South and PHS, temperature was a factor. There was a lot of kids going down with leg cramps. I don't think we're going to have that tonight with may this not temperature. Be, yeah, that may not be a problem tonight. Second down and four as Barker calls for the ball. Looking for the end deep zone, again. fires it deep, and out of play. Ball intended for Collins, Dominic Collins out there, but a little too wide. Gage right on the coverage for the Patriots. Just inside 30 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Six nothing Tigers. Took a little while in the first period to get the uh, fans from Princeton. Must have been slow arriving. Small, small delegation over on the visiting side of the stands here, but they're present. Barker to throw on third down. Steps away from the pressure. Fires it out there. Beautiful catch. Nice pitch and catch there to Klein. Klein will be down to about the 13 and a first down for Princeton. I don't know how Barker found the hole there, but Klein was in it. <laughs> And got his hands on it and moves the chains for the Tigers. Fine with the touchdown catch this evening, and that's going to be the last play of the opening quarter. Princeton's punched it in once, and they are threatening again as we will go to the second quarter. Tigers six, Patriots nothing. You're watching high school football presented by C uh, WVU Medicine Camden Clark on CAS 45. WVU Medicine Camden Clark's pediatric team is here to help you turn belly aches into belly laughs. Now accepting pediatric patients at our new location in South Parkersburg. It's big care for small patients. And that's the power of WVU Medicine. Rejuvenation Laser and Skin Center wants to welcome three new state-of-the-art machines to their location. The Physique targets stubborn areas that regular diet and exercise have trouble with to help you get the results you've been looking for. The Tetra is a CO2 laser that offers fully customizable skin treatments to help improve fine lines and wrinkles, scars, and more. The Pico helps remove tattoos and dark spots by offering laser skin resurfacing with no downtime. Call 740-538-9943 to book your appointment. Thank you to our friends at CAS Cable for being our sponsors for Belfry Homecoming. Thank you, CAS Cable, for supporting the Parkersburg South Marching Band. Thank you, CAS Cable, for supporting Discovery Ready to start the second frame here at Erickson All Sports Facility. Brian Guthrie, Joe Oliveri, we're happy to have you tuned in. Princeton leads south, 6 0, knocking on the door as Markel Lowe will get the handoff on first down and shoving the pile. Holy smoke! Whoa! That is what a running back and a big offensive line can do as they push the pile a good seven yards. It's first and goal. Or is it, what are we resetting it? Yeah, it'll be first and goal. Wow. Wow. While we were on break, the announcer had, this is military appreciation night here, had everybody in the armed services stand up, be recognized, as well as middle school band students, I think, are being uh, I honored. think they're going to play at uh, halftime. So. First and goal for the Tigers at the three. Handoff goes to Lowe, and they were keying on him the whole way. <laughs> Dropped at the five. They put uh, well, Collins in motion. Didn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, it was, that was a, a decoy. So second and goal, move it back to about the five. Ready. 
final week of regular season here in West Virginia. Both these teams headed for the playoffs as Lowe brings it in, and turns the corner, and finds the pylon for the Princeton touchdown. And Lowe takes it in from five yards out, as you can watch here on the replay. Was supposed to go straight forward. It was clogged up, so he goes around the end, and you're just grabbing on and going for the ride at that point. They'll take it in for six at 10.38 here in the second. That was low. We'll try the extra point again. Take kicking down there. 80? 88? And that one is 88. up 88. Uh, Saeed Wilson. A senior. 5'8", 205 pounds. We'll keep it here after the PAT is good. It is 13-0 in favor of the Princeton Tigers. Hey, coming up next week, uh, Veterans Day. You mentioned the, the Veterans uh, Appreciation tonight. Next week, next Saturday, we will be at Marietta College. Great rivalry game as the Pioneers will host the Fighting Muskies of Muskingum uh, Universities. 1.30 kickoff uh, from Don Drum Stadium next Saturday right here on CAS 45. Hope to have you there. Watch on CAS 45, YouTube, Facebook. So this game started at 7 tonight. We've got all, most of the other ones starting at 7.30. So we're at 7.30 now. Yeah. Cool 56 degrees out here Crisp. at Erickson All Crisp. Sports. Brisk. Crisp. <laughs> Got a friend that accents the P in crisp. Crisp. I like to accent the G in stuff because it makes my kids go crazy when you say singer of songs. Especially with the name of Brian Guthrie. Well. <laughs> the G. Anything we can do to make the kids. Oh, yeah. Make them hate me. That's fine. <laughs> but we'll see if uh, Princeton wants to kick it deep this time. They did not last time. Well, now we're back to the 10. And they will not. And the Patriots will fall on it as uh, Caden Marshall up there to wrap it up at about the <laughs> 44. <laughs> So South now, now down two scores. Needs to get some points as Princeton has a high proclivity of scoring. As I mentioned, 27 points is the fewest they have put up this season in a game. And that was way back on uh, September 1st against Bluefield, a 27-6 win over the Beavers. 10-37 in the second, we're halfway there. 49, 42, 49, 42, 56, 42, 55, 55. These guys can score points. Gage Wright will take the handoff on first down, reverses this field. Garrettson out there to block in front of him, makes a sweet block. Gage Wright hurdles a man and <laughs> goes down <laughs> at the 31-yard line. No regard for that man's family. Just went right over top going. of him. He's like, come on, quarterback, give me, give me a block. Just give me a block. And, man, hats off Turner Garrettson out there trying to – he couldn't get in front of him because he, no, no. he was he was sealing off the backside. Here's Garrett's in the throw on first down. Out into the flat, complete. Devin Forshee hauls it in. And will be close to another south first down. Rex Foster yep, motions. Moves him on. Move the chains. So south. Moving with purpose here on this possession so far. Here's Gage right again. Blitz comes from the left side. Oh, flag and a flag. From both flag sides. coming. All kinds of flags. It's a longer night out there on the field after about a three yard gain. And we'll see what the signal is here. I would wager a guess, but I think it would be wrong because I didn't. I, I no. don't know what they were looking at. Looks like they're getting ready to walk it off against Princeton. Face mask. Uh. 
a uh, half the distance penalty is going to put South in business and give them first and goal just inside the 10. Big 15-yard penalty against the Tigers. And it's got the Patriots knocking on the door here inside 10 minutes to go until the half. Turner Garrison calls for the ball. It was low snap picked up by Eli Bartley. I'm not sure if that was supposed to be a direct snap to Bartley or not. Regardless, it's a two-yard loss. Not sure what exactly that was supposed to be. I know I know what it was. It's interesting on a not face max call that we have a, a flag coming from the front and a flag coming from Everybody the back. Everybody saw it. <laughs> Everybody saw it. Must have turned his head around. Unless it's one of those ones. He threw a flag, so I'm going to throw one in too. <laughs> Just so to make sure, make sure everybody sees it. Here's a direct oh. snap to Gage Wright. Oh, he he's wanted up. to throw it. Now he's going to run it. Head into the pylon. He'll touchdown. turn the corner and take it in for the touchdown. Gage Wright runs it in. From 12 yards out for the South touchdown. As you watch it here on the One Community Federal Credit Union replay. So Forshee was open. And all of a sudden, Forshee realizes he's going to run. So I'm just going to block a couple out of the way and let him get to that pylon. Nice replay brought to you. to attempt the extra point. James Thompson, freshman on the Patriot team. Knocks it up, knocks it through. 9.07 left here in the second quarter, and South is on the board, 13-7. You're watching High School Football, presented by WV Medicine Camden Clark on CAS 45. Healthy relationships, it's how we think about primary care at Camden Clark. When you choose one of our providers, you're starting a relationship with access to award-winning specialty care, diagnostics, and MyWVU chart. Our state-of-the-art user-friendly electronic medical records that's at your fingertips. Caring for you for over 125 years, we're the only local community health care providers backed by the power of WVU medicine. Healthy relationships start here. Healthy relationships, it's how we think about DePaulo's Pizzeria, located at 1403 Grand Central Avenue in Vienna, welcomes you to try their all-you-can-eat buffet. Join us Monday through Friday, 11 to 2, as well as Sundays, 11 to 2 and 5 to 8. Enjoy our salad bar, pizza, pasta, subs, cheesy bread, calzones, pepperoni rolls, and desserts. We are proud to be a local, family-owned business and look forward to serving your family at DePaulo's. Good uh, buffet. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the yeah Brian and Joe back here at uh, Erickson. Yeah, the DePaulo's buffet. The DePaulo's. <laughs> That's a big thumbs up. And we up have for a kickoff. They're gonna kick it deep, and the Lowe will take it at the twenty. Trying to find some room up that far sideline, running through people. Holy smokes! Across midfield and into South Territory, and that's what you get when you kick it deep. So after the team's trade touchdowns here in the second quarter. Princeton is going to operate on the short field here, up by six. Six-point margin because of a missed extra point on the first Princeton touchdown. So we get a little Mad Max defense chant. Always love the passion of Mad Max. He just man, it's a, yeah, he brought goes, out, he goes brought out, it. yeah. <laughs> Revered over here on the south side of Parkersburg. Here's Barker to throw on Fake. first down. Middle of the field, Klein's wide open. Wyatt Klein will be knocked off his feet at the one. Healthy relationships, it's how we think about primary. Got between the seam, linebackers came up, safeties didn't get back far enough, look out. It's just a go route, it was just yeah. run straight. <laughs> just and I'll throw it to you. Yeah, I'll Let's throw go. it to you. It'd be fine. Who do you think is going to get the ball here on the two-yard line? I'm going to give it to Lowe. If, on I'm, if I'm, yeah, it's, let me, at this point, you give it to number three. <laughs> <laughs> you signal your play in. 
Play clock down to three, two, two. one. They will get it off. Gonna run the option. Oh, oh, almost a terrible pitch, but Lowe gets it and he will punch it in for the Tigers from a yard out. And watch this replay here, Joe, as Barker he got a little just bit of hand barely on lofts it. it over Dylan Fleek. Wow. So just like that, less than a minute for Princeton to go back the other way and score again. Low his second touchdown run of the evening. And the extra point is up and good. Saeed Abelson, senior, kicks it through the upright, moves the score up to 20 to seven. Twenty to seven. You're scored eight thirteen here in the second quarter. A hey, uh, we are just over a month away from the winter sports schedule here at CAS forty five, which uh, gets underway December fourth with uh, girls basketball, Belpre and Williamstown, a full slate of girls basketball, boys basketball, and wrestling. We've got PHS and South wrestling like every year. Yes. <laughs> We're going to be at the the field house uh, for this go around. But hope you join us for uh, some uh, great basketball action. Uh, through December, January, and February here on CAS 45. It'll be warmer inside it than out here. It will be warmer <laughs> inside. <laughs> well, the, the, yeah, the, now that the field house has air conditioning, it, it's not a sauna. <laughs> <laughs> so that's nice. We'll see if the Tigers are going to kick it deep here. They have yet to... Hartley back at the 10. And it'll be a short kick. You know, one of these times that short kick's just going to be mishandled. And it's not an intentional yeah. onside yeah, kick, but, but that's yeah, what's going to happen. Yeah, it just, it'll serve the purpose. So South will have it at the 44 yard line to start this drive. Back down by 13. Band playing the Hey song. Hey, baby. <laughs> Twin receivers each way for the Patriots here on first and ten at their own 44. It'll be Gage Wright tries one way. It's a nice bunch of white shirts. Comes back the other way and can't quite find the edge and will be run out of bounds near the 49. Good for about four or five. I think they'll give him four, second and six. Mention uh, PHS and South Wrestling, Gage Wright. I believe he's got a state championship or two under his belt for uh, as a wrestler. And uh, so his senior season coming up on the mats. Garrettson rolls out to throw. It is complete. That is Bartley, I believe, 11. Yep. yep. Eli Bartley hauls it in, and he's got a first down at the Princeton 40. Nice little oh, hook and 10, roll up. Excuse me, that's Devin Forshe. South going tempo here. Garrett's in to throw. Now he'll pull it down and keep it himself. Damn. Takes a shot right at the 40-yard line. Lowe stood him up, but then submarine there by 34. Burnett. I hope I pronounce Hezekiah. Hezekiah Damn. Burnett. You're going to give him about a half a yard. That QB option for Garrettson really hasn't been there tonight. No, I don't on, think on anybody's. You know, <laughs> it's it's uh, supposed to be read pass option or run pass option, and nobody yeah. thinks he's thrown. They're not. They're not really going for the R part. Straight snap to Garrettson, or excuse me, Gage Wright, who tries to flip it back to Bartley on the option, and the wheels came off this one in a hurry. Loss of about eight on that play. As uh, number 19, Howard for the Tigers, comes in there and is able to finish it off right there as uh, Gage Wright tried to turn the corner, flip flip it out to Bartley on the option. You can see Gage there hanging his head. He's like, <laughs> that is sorry not about how that, we buddy. drew that That's up. <laughs> Three receivers to the top for third. Turner Garrettson on third down and about 15. 
Loads Cross it up. Middle, across the middle. Chucks it. Man is open. That is Bartley, and he'll pull it down. 50-50 ball, and Eli Bartley. Am I getting the number wrong? That is number, is that 11 or 8? I can't see. That might be 8. It is 8. eight. Yep. Okay. Dylan Fleek. Nice catch, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, 50-50 ball, and he goes up and comes down with it. First and goal, Patriots. Gage right again out of the Wildcat. Just putting his hand on the back of his blockers and lost and it into fumble. the end zone, and it's a touchback as Gage Wright oh. puts it on the deck for the second time tonight. Out of the Wildcat, yep. they had him up around the neck, and boy, it was close. If he if his knee wasn't down, that's right. You can see Wright making. Yeah, Jade Como swatted that ball away from him. So he had a wonderful drive going. Get you down to about the ten, and then you have a turnover. Cannot fault the effort of the Patriots. Just a bad break right there. So a fumble in the end zone, fumble recovered in the end zone is a touchback for the Tigers, and they'll have first and 10 at their own 20. 557 left in the second. Wonder how long it'll take them to go down the field. They've been rather efficient doing that tonight. Big momentum swing as Lowe goes in motion. He'll throw it short near side to Collins, and Collins will be slung down. Garrettson on the stop for the Patriots. Just a yard or two on the pickup as Collins is slow to get up. You talked about those numbers. We're located on top of the press box here. We're about a half mile from the field. The field <laughs> and looking straight into the uh, visitor's side lights over there. Got my reading glasses on. I'm doing the best I can. Yeah. My bifocals trying to pick up the field. <laughs> but our Cracker Jack crew that's putting the uh, replays on there. Fantastic we can... job. They'll flip it out to low here. He'll spin away from a would-be tackler and almost getting away from uh -huh. the second one. And he will go down with just enough for a first down. I think that may have been... Uh, he, he saw a hammer coming and was trying to get out of the way and, and thought better of, of fighting out of that tackle. You know, and as a junior, you just wonder what kind of interest schools have in him and what his senior year is going to look like. I would imagine he's not going to Concord. <laughs> he's probably going D1. Probably going D1. Probably. They're going to let the play clock run all the way out and burn a timeout at 4.30 here in the second quarter. First and 10 for the Tigers at their own 31-yard line. Not sure what that's. I don't know if uh, Coach Taylor maybe just buying his guys a little extra time or if they were having a problem get a play in, but. Maybe he saw the South Band getting out of the stands, getting ready for halftime. He just wanted to give them a little bit more that time to get ready. You think so? You're always you're always <laughs> pulling for uh, the band. Weird. Hey. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Those student athletes put an awful lot of work in, as you well know. So coming up and at the half, we will uh, watch the South Band performance. Get as much of that as we can for you. Last week, got to watch uh, Muppet Madness from Williamstown and the show from the Doddridge County Bulldog Band. So out of the Princeton timeout, they'll have first and 10 at their own 31, leading by 13 here in the late second. You're scrolling through the Metro News scores, I see. Uh, yeah. Right now, University has over number eight O'Kill, 21 to seven, second quarter. Huntington up on Hurricane, 14-0. Ooh. 
Number five, Jefferson over Washington, 28-0. Here's Barker out of the shotgun. South trying to bring some pressure. Oh, and pick six. And almost oh. picked. In and out of the hands of number 10, Devin Forshee. Trying to get it to Wyatt Klein out there on the side. And I don't know if Barker didn't see him or was just going to him the whole way, but hit Forshee right in the numbers, and he couldn't hold on to it. So second and 10, kind Princeton of dodges the bullet. Kind of reluctant to give some of these scores because they've got uh, Princeton South 13 nothing, and we're sitting here at 20-7. to seven. Well, so it's, it only, need to only update a little bit there. As, uh, as it gets called in, I think. Hey, it's 20. <laughs> We'll call it in from Make here, folks. Barker to throw on second down. Oh, gets it out goes to the low. short side of the field. And Garretson again locks him up and brings him down after a short gain. I don't know if Turner Garretson has drawn Markel Lowe in the defensive lottery, or he's the uh, he's the spy for him. Goes wherever he goes. But uh, Garretson has been right there the last few times Lowe has touched the football, and it'll be third and about eight. One that's sitting out there we talked about earlier, Brian Parkersburg. Number 16, Parkersburg. Number 15, Muscle. And Parkersburg up 28-3 to three in the User second quarter. That one is out, I believe, of the playoffs. I would imagine. Here's Barker. He heaves it far sideline uh -huh. and nobody home. Claudio for South was the closest player to it. He had a position on the inside and... Princeton lucky that a couple of those balls hit the turf and weren't picked by Because we thought the, the play before was yeah. probably going to be a pick six. Yeah, there was that nobody one, in front of 4G. That was a duck that probably should have been intercepted. So Princeton will punt for the first time since uh, the beginning of this game. High snap. Almost blocked, Got that nice punt. Gage Wright will take it at about the 22. Headed up the far numbers, 30, 40, nice 45, block. 50. Cutting back inside. And Gage Look Wright getting him. is off the races. Is he gonna get there? Touchdown, Gage Wright. Call it 78 yards. As you see the very end of it, Collins tries to knock him off his feet. Unsuccessful, and Gage Wright, 78 yard punt return touchdown. Hayes on the hold. Extra point is no, no good. good. But at 312 left in the half. South back on the board, got, cuts the lead to seven. 20 to 13, Tigers lead. You're watching high school football presented by WV Medicine Camden Clark on CAS 45. It's game time, and One Community Federal Credit Union is here to help you tackle your financial goals. With our convenient and secure electronic banking and mobile services, we're taking our customer service experience to the next level. Plus, our CD rates are some of the best around, so you get more bang for your buck. When you need a loan, One Community can get you a great rate and a fast decision made locally. It all adds up to us being the Mid-Ohio Valley's winning team. One Community Federal Credit Union, online at onecommunityfcu.org. You don't have to go back to the dealer or travel hours to get professional maintenance and repair for your foreign auto. Cornerstone Auto Service is fully equipped with dealer level equipment and the expertise to provide you with the same quality repairs you receive from the dealer at a fraction of the cost. From expert diagnostics to routine maintenance, Cornerstone provides honest answers and quality service. Professional, reliable, affordable. That's the team at Cornerstone Auto Service, Camden Avenue, Parkersburg. Gage Wright's second touchdown of the evening draws the Patriots to within seven of Princeton here at 20 to 13, 312 left in this opening half. It'll be another short kick covered up quickly near midfield by the Princeton up man that is number two, Garrett Mays. 
So both teams have worked with short fields for most, most of the of this evening. Contest. Princeton back with the football after their punt was returned for a touchdown by Gage Wright. Wright, two touchdowns, one rushing, one punt return, also two fumbles in this first half. See what Chance Barker does here. First and 10 with three minutes and change to go here until the half. And he will heave it down the near side. Complete in stride to Giacomo. And I think I pronounced his name wrong. But he's down to into the five. It'll be first and goal. We'll check it out here on the one community federal credit union replay. Looking at him the whole way, it hits him in stride. This is one heck of a throw. Nice, nice reach. Right De Giacomo. De Giacomo. It's De Giacomo. Ah. Oh. If I could read my notes better. De Giacomo. Beautiful catch. Nice throw. Nice catch. You see why uh, Chance Barker is. Uh, going to end up being a legendary quarterback for Princeton by the time it's all said and done. He is a sophomore, already has the most touchdown passes in a season, and after tonight is probably going to have the most touchdown or most uh, passing yards in a season for a Tiger as uh, Princeton will burn their second that timeout. The clock got down to almost zero, yeah. so they First they and goal it. at the five. This is where they ran, they ran that option to low that was half pitch, half shovel, shovel pass, pass, and was n they're lucky <laughs> it didn't get stolen away. So execution at this point, kind of a big deal. The other thing we've seen here is we've got a five yard to the end zone, but if they give the ball to low, he may run 40 this way, turn it back yeah. around, go the other 50 that way. Low will be the setback alongside Barker. Just off his hips. Collins comes in motion. It'll oh, be low fake. right up the pipe, and he's in for another touchdown. Well, that was a big fake to Collins that. Uh, Watch the. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> like he was almost going to throw it to his bench from that far. So two plays. A minute off the clock. Actually, less than a minute. Less than a minute. For Low to take it in from five yards out. And that is his third touchdown of the night. Extra point is up and good. good. 222 left until the half. Princeton 27. Parkersburg South 13, and we will keep it right here. Brian Guthrie and Joe Oliverio, happy to have you tuned in high above uh, the field here at Erickson All Sports Facility. Last week of football in, uh, last week of regular season football in West Virginia and Ohio, they're already into the second round of the playoffs. I believe Fort Fry and Waterford are still alive, still alive. in our uh, mid Ohio Valley area here. Um, I thought Eastern was still in too. Maybe, maybe. I don't remember. It's hard. It's the Ohio starts like a week early, and then has like an extra layer or two of playoffs. Back <laughs> back when I was umpiring baseball over there, they would like do their tournament, but then they'd still have regular season games after they were already in the tournament. So sometimes you'd be like, okay. Are we going to go and have that game? Nah, uh, we can't, this, so we got beat. Does this count? <laughs> <laughs> is this going like, to count? It was the weirdest thing. Another pooch kick. Loose on the ground. Still loose. No. And finally collected. Number 10. Uh, Devin Forshee covers it up at the 
36, 37. That was good because that ball got away of the first guy and it was bouncing away from four. She said he's trying to chase it yeah. down. Who would have thought an oblong object would bounce funny? Funny. <laughs> Field's in pretty good shape. I was down there um, earlier this evening, and, and it, at this point of this of the year, it is usually way more bare than it is now. Right. You can't. But it, uh, and usually from the thirty to thirty inside the hatch. You know, so <laughs> so it's in it's in pretty good shape. Ground crew's done a nice job keeping it. Turner Garrettson to throw on first down. Nobody's open. Now he's going to lateral it back to Wright, who hauls it in and will be slung down at the 40. Picks up about three or four. Dangerous play. That's about where Garrettson was when he threw it. So positive yards. Um, but I mentioned the field condition, so I can say this. Uh, Parkersburg South girls soccer team will be playing for the AAA state championship tomorrow in Beckley on the turf in Beckley against Morgantown. As that ball is passed to the near side, Flea calls it in. He's going to be shoved forward into Princeton territory in a big first down as one of the Tigers in trying to get him off his feet actually shoved him forward for about three yards. But the Patriots will take on the Mohegans tomorrow down in Beckley um, for the AAA Girls Soccer State Championship. Is there another South team doing something with the States tomorrow? Did I read that in the paper, I think? Uh, the volleyball, volleyball team is still in. They're in okay. regionals tomorrow. Re uh, yeah. This is Bartley, and Bartley's going to be corralled. They're going to string him out down the line of scrimmage, and he'll be dropped for a, for a loss. Yes. Moving, moving. Volleyball is into the regionals okay. tomorrow. And a official timeout as Bartley is slow to recover from the play, and he is headed to the sideline. Claudio in to replace him. Game clock standing at 106. See if the Patriots can get a nice run. All three timeouts still in Coach Tanner's back pocket. And the clock is running on second and 12 at midfield. Patriots trying to get it back to a one score game. Garrettson setting up the screen to Gage Wright. Sheds the first man, tried to take his head off, got loose. Now he's down the far sideline and will go out of bounds inside the 30 and stop the clock. Garrettson lost his shoe out there on that. <laughs> so he's trying to get it put on to get back up to the line of scrimmage. When you try to set up a screen pass against the defensive line, that's a lot, that's of, a that's lot, a lot of bodies of, coming at yeah. you. Us standing in traffic on the highway right there. 43 seconds? Is that what that says? Yes, sir, 43. 43. Again, all three timeouts for the Patriots here first and 10 at the Princeton 30. Garrettson rolls out, pressure from the oh. back, hit as he throws, and right through the hands of Claudio, incomplete. Turner Garrettson got crushed. Watch here on the replay. You can see, look at this, pressure coming from coming, the back. Coming. Burnett gets in. Powell, <laughs> and he actually got hit from the front. I thought it was going to come from the come blind side. Come from the side. two blind side that way. The fact that that one even had a chance to be completed is shocking. <laughs> it stopped the clock. But it did stop the clock. <laughs> Second and 10 at the 30. Garrettson to throw, now has to Steps step up. up. Under pressure, gonna loft it towards the end zone uh. and short arms it. Had to just kind of wing it. And Claudio was open in the end zone but couldn't quite get it there. And it's third and 10. That was basically just his arm strength. He, he yeah, had bodies all he around him. He was, he he yeah. <laughs> so the fact that he was able to throw that from the 35 to the five. Clock stops at just over 30 seconds. Third and 10, three man rush with a blitz coming. Garrettson going to have to tuck it and run. To the 25 uh, and down to about the 24, and that's going to be it. And Coach Tanner wants to burn his first time out at 22 seconds on the clock. It's going to be fourth, fourth down at about five. So you know they're going for it. 
that's an easy decision. I, I think yeah, I can yeah, make that yeah. one too. It's, it's, yeah, it's a, <laughs> that's, that's, that's in the handbook. At this point, getting a first down is, it's not everybody has, nobody has to run to the end zone. No. Let's just get five yards, get a fresh set of downs. We still have two, have two timeouts. timeouts. Yep. I think at the next level they say the analytics say to go for it here. Yes, my chart <laughs> would say to go for it here. I'm looking for that guy from Michigan to see if he's wearing a fake mustache and scouting this game at all. <laughs> Football jokes. Out of the south timeout, they'll face fourth down and about five at the Princeton 25. 22 seconds to work with. Garrettson out of the shotgun, right alongside. Garrettson to throw, far sideline uh, overthrows, overthrows his it. man and they'll turn it over on downs. Basically 18 seconds left. It'd be real easy just to. I would not be shocked <laughs> to see them take a shot or two. Uh, they have moved the ball very well through the air, and I would not be shocked <laughs> to see uh, Barker cut one loose just to see what just you can get. Just to see what you could get. You know, it gets picked, then it's on the other end of the field. But now they're going to go. Almost like a shotgun victory formation. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. All right. They'll take a knee, and that's how the first half is going to end. Princeton on the board first and maintain that two-touchdown lead through most of the first half. 27-13. Princeton leads Parkersburg South. We'll come back and uh, watch the band for halftime. You're watching High School Football presented by WV Medicine Camden Clark on CAS 45. Healthy relationships, it's how we think about primary care at Camden Clark. When you choose one of our providers, you're starting a relationship with access to award-winning specialty care, diagnostics, and MyWVU chart. Our state-of-the-art user-friendly electronic medical records that's at your fingertips. Caring for you for over 125 years, we're the only local community health care providers backed by the power of WVU Medicine. Healthy relationships start here. Rejuvenation Laser and Skin Center wants to welcome three new state-of-the-art machines to their location. The Physique targets stubborn areas that regular diet and exercise have trouble with to help you get the results you've been looking for. The Tetra is a CO2 laser that offers fully customizable skin treatments to help improve fine lines and wrinkles, scars, and more. The Pico helps remove tattoos and dark spots by offering laser skin resurfacing with no downtime. Call 740-538-9943 to book your appointment. Thank you to our friends at CAS Cable for being our sponsors for Belfry Homecoming. Thank you, CAS Cable, for supporting the Parkersburg South Marching Band. Thank you, CAS Cable, for supporting Discovery World!
since launching in August of this year for the amount of $1,070. These funds will be used for things such as student recognition, continuing education for teachers, and other needs helping support the success of Parkersburg South. Williamstown Bank would like to thank Parkersburg South for the partnership and also the community for choosing to support their initiatives to give back locally. Let's have a hand for Williamstown Bank and the Green Cup.
anything. A season. A time and place for activity under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant. A time to harvest. A time to tear down. And a time to build up. A time to cry. And a time to laugh. A time to breathe. And a time to dance. For everything, there is a season. Thank you. 
rain begins to fall. The mountains come alive and flowers begin to bloom. The birds sing with joy. It is
weather's here, so it's time to call Morrison Incorporated today and schedule your fall furnace check and tune-up. Still, for just $90, we'll test, clean, and adjust your home's heating system so it's safe and ready to keep you warm this winter. We're not looking for problems, we're looking to prevent them. Call 373-5869 or book your appointment online at morrisonhvac.com. Morrison Incorporated, always ready. With Bryant, whatever it takes. Restrictions apply. It's game time, and One Community Federal Credit Union is here to help you tackle your financial goals. With our convenient and secure electronic banking and mobile services, we're taking our customer service experience to the next level. Plus, our CD rates are some of the best around, so you get more bang for your buck. When you need a loan, One Community can get you a great rate and a fast decision made locally. It all adds up to us being the Mid-Ohio Valley's winning team. One Community Federal Credit Union, online at onecommunityfcu.org. It's football season, and CAS Cable has a deal for new customers that's a real touchdown. Right now, new customers can buy one month of internet service from CAS Cable and get a second month free. Rush to our website for details today. Tackle high prices with internet service from CAS Cable. What was that? Too many football references? Did you know that 90% of the American Red Cross workforce is made up of volunteers? That's why we're asking you to fall into service this autumn. You can help families affected by disasters big and small with comfort, food, and shelter. Collect life-saving blood, support military members, and much more. Even medical professionals can use their skills to help in times of need. Go to redcross.org slash volunteer today to get more information or contact your local Red Cross in Parkersburg. So change a life and fall into service with the American Red Cross. I sincerely hope you never need my services because my firm represents people that have been seriously hurt in automobile accidents. I'm Jim Staley and I've seen the devastating effects that those accidents can have, not only on those who are injured, but also on those who are at fault. Don't drive distracted. Put down the phone. It can wait until you get where you're going. Staley Law and Mediation, advocating for victims of serious personal injury. Uh, Erickson All Sports Facility. We are at the half where Princeton leads Parkersburg South 27 13. Brian Guthrie and Joe Oliveri, Ohio, top the press box here. And you've scrawled down some stats. Can you read uh, your own writing? Snuck <laughs> in a few. Thanks to uh, the Cracker Jack team of uh, Jay Bennett down there on the other side in the warm press box. Yeah, well, if Jay so, Bennett's at the, at the game, you're in the uh, right place. And naturally, right. these, these are unofficial, but uh, you know, Princeton's got 11 first downs, South has 10. Uh, pass, passing Barker for Princeton's 11 of 15 for 170 yards compared to Turner Garrison and Tanner Garrison. 8 of 12 with 111. On rushing, naturally, Gage Wright sitting there with nine carries for 102 yards. Two fumbles. And Eli's had three carries. Garrison's got four for four yards, so no losses there. On the other side, Princeton. Big ground gainer there, naturally is the one we expected. Uh, low, 11 carries for 68 yards. Uh, Chance Barker, two carries for minus 13, so they've had a couple nice sacks with him. So basically Princeton, 16 carries for 74 yards, compared to South, 16 carries for 106 yards. On the receiving end, what we've kind of seen tonight, uh, Gage, three for 39, Fleek, two for 51, Forshee, two for 23. So basically nine receptions for 111 yards, but that's where uh, Princeton's done the number. Uh, Collins, three for 29. Uh, 
DiGiacomo, uh, one of 47, and Klein, four for 82. So they've 11 receptions for 170 yards. So total right now is 244 for Princeton, 217 for South. Fairly even in the stats. Um, we had halftime where they recognized the seniors and recognized the military. Had the middle school bands out there playing with them. The high school group, so. Markel Lowe, three rushing touchdowns in that first half. Five yards, five yards, and one yard. Gage Wright, a 12-yard touchdown run and a 78-yard punt return touchdown. Also, as I mentioned, two fumbles. That first fumble turning into a uh, touchdown pass from Barker to Klein for 12 yards to open up the scoring in this game. Adjustment-wise, those two turnovers have been huge for, for uh, Parkersburg South as because they move all the way down the field. They, they, well, they, they well one turned into a touchdown and the other one was as he was crossing the goal line. Right. <laughs> you know, so that took seven off the board. So, you know, the 14 point uh, difference here. Some scores out in the uh, AAA rank. Number 16, Parkersburg leading Musselman at the halftime, 28 to three. George Washington, number 13, 28. So they're winning right there above us. Uh, the Patriots getting ready to kick off. Another short kick for Princeton, and it's going to be taken on the fly by Forshee, and he tried to get ahead of steam. He's going to get midfield, and I think we've only seen each team start in their own end, or at least inside their own 40, a couple of times. Too close to call right now, but number 10, Morgantown's getting beat by un unranked Lindsley, 10 to 7, and Phillip Barber, number 10, is down one. 13 to 12 to Preston. So a couple teams above South right there. Uh, deficient in the scoreboard right now in the first half or halftime. But Lindsley is not even an SSAC school. So it's hard to, you know, it's, they're, they're tiny, but it's at one time it was loaded with the kids of former Pittsburgh Steelers. Steelers. <laughs> so but maybe yeah, Morgantown didn't if, take them yeah, real if, serious. If, uh, the, yeah, if Lindsley's beating you, I wouldn't, you know, wouldn't uh, cry too much because uh, there's some, there's some talent there as Gage Wright goes right into the teeth of the Tigers defense for about a yard, second and nine. Williamstown's crushing Wheeling Central. I saw 51 that. 51 to seven. The mighty Blue Devils of St. Mary's 39-0 <laughs> over Ravenswood. Battle of the Devils there. Garretson drops back to pass on second and nine, nowhere to go and he is gonna be swallowed up by the Princeton defense in their first Eli Campbell finished off by a couple of other Tigers, but Campbell was the one who really kind of blew that one up. And uh, mentioned that's uh, Eli Campbell on the offensive and defensive line. He is committed to play for the Air Force Academy next year. You might want to put a couple of guys on him. <laughs> After the loss, it is third down and 12. Patriots back into their own end of the field and try not to go three and out to start this third quarter. Wildcat formation, Gage Wright takes the snap, and now Swamp Still on his gets feet. out of it. On his feet, oh. completes the pass. Somehow out to Devin Forshee, and Forshee's gonna be near the first down marker. How did Gage Wright get out of this? At the very end there, he finally got rid of the football, and you'll see Forshee go out of bounds just past the marker. And it should be a first down, and it will be for Parkersburg South. Like Gage I'm, Wright should have been brought down about 10 yards deep. On that replay, Dylan Ake, number eight, is Dylan Fleet, trying to tell the officials, that's a first down. Let's, let's move the chains. <laughs> uh, I've signaled it. Let's go. The so Patriot drive stays alive. Garretson back. And we're going to have a timeout, timeout from Parkersburg South. Less than two minutes into a half. That sounds like something Neil Brown does. And, uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken as a true Mountaineer fan. Come on, Chris Brown, trust the climb. You had 25 <laughs> minutes in there to talk. You need a timeout a minute and a half in there. <laughs> um, maybe tomorrow will be different. Who they got? Who they got tomorrow? BYU. Oh, that's right. I saw coming, that. Coming. Cougs. Coming far east. 
Marshall and will be in Boone, North Carolina to take on Appalachian State. The highlight of the uh, press conference for Brigham Young was he can't wait to come east to hear Country Roads. He doesn't know that we only sing it when we win. <laughs> <laughs> so out of the early south timeout here in the second half. Coach Tanner didn't look especially happy coming on the field after calling that timeout. First and 10, Patriots. At the 40. Low snap, bobbled around. And that was Gage Wright back there in another Wildcat set. And that's gonna lose about 10 yards. We're trying to get something, catch a little lightning in, the bo in a bottle here with uh, Gage Wright taking some direct snaps as you know he can throw the ball a little bit and always a threat to run the ball. And it looks like Gage Wright is taking the play calls from the sidelines. Garrettson will line up as tight end. So Gage Wright's the new quarterback. Across the middle to Garrettson, oh! The middle and a uh, little low. And it'll be third and 20. <laughs> One of those sacks, Garrettson might have got hurt just a little bit because he's continuing to adjust, grab his knee. Maybe the way that Princeton rushes, they need somebody a little more mobile in the back. Yeah, yeah, they're bringing a lot of heat. Quickly out of the huddle, they'll get it off just as the play clock's set to expire and it's gonna be a screen pass to Bartley. And Bartley fires up the field and is gonna get down to the 22 and keep this drive moving for South after it looked doomed. First down. Eli Bartley will stay in the backfield alongside Gage Wright who will hand it off to Garrettson. Garrettson coming around the end, caught by the shoulder, and they will hang on to his jersey and drop him after a couple yards. Got a handful of shoulder pad and would not let go. Got a, got a bit of a, a tangle up down there on the, on the field. I believe it was Collins or Princeton coming out of there. Collins on the shot. Second and seven. They'll spot it at about the 19. Another good drive by South. Let's try to they punch bailed, it in. Bailed out a couple of oh. long third downs. <laughs> and Wright will fumble the snap, gathers it up, but he's going to be dropped for another loss. And Gage Wright is having a hard time finding the handle on the football, and we're going to have a flag come in from the side, it looks like. <laughs> And one of the Princeton players, I believe, is is that a flag or is that like debris? I might might be like tape or something over there. That must not be a flag. Does not look. All right. And it has been Never mind. a fairly cleanly played game. It has. Just a couple, a couple of early flags there, early yeah. on. Get and a little chippy out there right now. On third and ten for the Patriots. Right to throw on the roll and cannot connect with Forshe on the crossing route and it'll be fourth down. Right frustrated with himself, but throwing on the run is tough for a quarterback who does it every who down. Who does it every <laughs> down and especially going opposite. Yeah. He's got his body completely turned around to try to make that throw. The Patriots will go for it. You're kind of in no man's land here. So off at the screen to right. It is batted down by Kisner, and it'll be a turnover on downs. Princeton ball. And a huge boost there on the visitor sideline and out of the crowd that has come up here from Mercer County. 
cheer on their Tigers as they'll have first and 10 at their own 21, leading by 14. Kid's six foot and he jumped. <laughs> Just shut that passing lane down in a hurry. Play clock down to six. It'll be a handoff to Lowe. Lowe finding his way through and he'll go out across the 30 to the 31 and bring up second and short. Changes direction so quick. If you um, missed the pregame show, Markel Lowe attended, he is a junior. He attended WVU uh, skills camp over the summer where he set uh, a 40 time, you say like 4-2 something? The fast, fastest time recorded at the WVU skills camp. Originally he was a 4.27, then he bested his 4.27 with a 4.25 40. Barker heaves down the far sideline. Oh, incomplete, oh. couldn't complete the catch as Mosser went to the ground with it, but couldn't hang on. Almost a butte, but incomplete, third and one. The whole Princeton crowd over there stood up like, yay! Oh, the ball came out. Yeah, the ball came out. <laughs> this Barker, uh, Ch Chance Barker, has put some, uh, put some passes right on the money, just like right on the money tonight. There's, Super impressed by this. There's one. no wind out here, so this is all on quarterback. It's not like you're getting the advantage of, oh, I'm throwing with the yeah. wind, so let's heave it down there and just let it go up. Third and one, and Barker's going to throw a little wide receiver screen. And it's going to be a big first down and then some for Princeton out to midfield, as I believe that was Collins on the reception. Tigers are on the move again. Where did Princeton come into this game ranked? Do you have your ranking sheet over there? Number six. Low. Still moving and he's got another nine yards. Down to, to the 40, just outside the 40. Just carving up this south defense. You touched on it. They, had to, they played Greenbrier East twice because they had yeah. trouble throwing out their schedule. And smoked them both times. Yeah, 56 to seven, 55 to zero. A win here for Princeton. South is going to be worth a bunch of bonus points. May vault the Tigers into the top four. Get them a couple of home games in the playoffs if they can hang on to this 14-point lead here. About a quarter and a half to go. Here's Lowe on second and short. He'll have the first down. Not by much. But enough for Princeton to move the chains. Moving clock, 522. Long sustained drive compared yep. to some of the ones we saw in the first half. Yeah, they're, they're trying to shorten this game. <laughs> they're taking their time. Parker calls for the ball on first down. Flips it out to low. Takes some guys with him and runs somebody over. You can see there on the sideline. <laughs> They're excited getting about Getting some that. juice from his own players is another seven or eight yard chunk. Our official Rex Foster. Going over there. Trying to calm the down the Tigers just a little be bit. Be nice over here. <laughs> Got to calm them down. And then the coach is like, hey, it's football. Let's play ball. It is a formidable look over there. They didn't travel up here with too many people, but they've got them all 
hunkered in within 15 yards. Well, and they just kind of move. Well, if you, if you sit in a tight back like that, you retain heat better. Yeah. Here's Lowe is going to be grabbed behind the line of scrimmage and wrestled to the ground. Middleton making the stop for Parkersburg South. One of the few times Lowe has been caught at, at the, line the line of scrimmage. Of scrimmage. So third and three for the Tigers here. And they're, uh, as I mentioned before, kind of in a no man's land here where you're probably in four down territory. South trying to get a big stop here. Keep feeding low and he's caught that time behind the line of scrimmage, well behind the line. And it's Cole Middleton again. Getting in there and getting the stop and moves him back about a yard. They'll be fourth and four. I would presume that they will go for this. I would think you're right. No, the, the way they've been kicking off when they score, South gets the ball. Yeah, you get the ball right Further to anyway, the 50 yeah. there anyhow, so take a chance. The fourth down for Princeton. Blitz coming, all out blitz. Throw. Pulls it down, and he's going to be swamped by Patriots, and they will turn it over on downs. The South defense holds. So back-to-back -back drives. South turns it over on downs, and Princeton will turn it over on downs. Give it back to the Patriots, trailing by 14, 250 to go here in the third quarter. Interesting play call with an all-out blitz. Three receivers going out. You got eight coming in on you. I guess the RPO, the P was not an option. <laughs> uh, so I guess you're 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 banking on the fact that you can get home before somebody gets gets too far down the field. And they did push him almost to the first down. Garrettson will take the handoff or take the snap and hand it to Gage Wright. And Wright is good for a yard or two, a couple yards, move it out to about the 35. After the wildcat set, I guess you could say, with, with Gage Wright running the offense, Turner Garrettson back in there taking the snaps, and this pass is knocked away before it could get to the intended receiver. Garrettson, or excuse me, Wright put on his backside for good measure, and just like that, it's third down and eight. Third and long, pitch goes to right. He will counter back the other way. Spins oh. through the first tackle and gets dropped by Markel Lowe. And watch this here on the replay. Just, right. A shoulder tackle. It wasn't yeah. And right, this is where he makes his bread and butter here with the spin, and then Man. low just <laughs> drops the hammer on him. So on fourth and five, Coach Tanner is going to send the punt team out. Markel Lowe is the deep man to receive. Quick snap and whistles from the officials. Timeout Princeton called with 110 left here in the third. Interesting. Hey, coming up next Saturday, we are back at Don Drum Stadium in Marietta for the Marietta uh, College Pioneers taking on the Muskingum University Muskies. It's been your Veterans Day with us. You can watch here on CAS 45, YouTube, Facebook, whatever you'd like. Ought to be a good one there as they, they have a uh, rivalry trophy traveling rivalry trophy. I can't remember what the name of it is off the top of my head. But they have one, and we've got, we've got the game for you next Saturday here on CAS 45. Twenty-seven thirteen. Princeton has led the whole way. But 6-0 early in this ballgame. 
or uh, halfway through the first quarter is when they score. And a fake punt and tried to lateral it, and that was a mess, but waved off as an incomplete pass as the Patriots tried to do a fake punt and catch the Tigers sleeping. Out of the timeout, Princeton was ready for it, and the Patriots will turn it over deep in their own end. First and 10, Princeton at the Patriot 36 is where they will mark it as an incomplete pass. So it will be. They call that trophy the Shrine Trophy. There you go. Look at you. Between, looking things up. Hey, man, Google. And I was going to say <laughs> Internet. Full of useless knowledge in my head. <laughs> First and 10 Tigers. Chance Barker calls for the ball, has to corral it, will sling it across the middle of the field. That is complete to nine. Uh, Kaiser. And good for a few yards. Barker still slinging that ball out there. He's inside a minute to go here in the, uh, in the quarter. Kid's got a cannon. I can't give him that. And I like, I like this matchup out here, you know, right against low. On this receiver end, it's like they're kind of just talking to each other, coming back like, hey, man, you're having a good game today. Yeah, I'm trying real <laughs> hard. How about yourself? Barker will throw again. This is complete to Collins. Collins with all kinds of room now dancing along the sideline and will step out at the 18-yard line of Princeton first down with 16 seconds showing on the clock. You can, so here's the conundrum, Joe. Okay, what do we got? Still sitting at 27-13. Pa nope. Patriots go man to man, and there's too much speed from Princeton. You can't go man to man. So you go zone. These guys are finding every, every open little spot. open spot. <laughs> every pocket in that zone has had a ball completed there. Low goes in motion to the outside. Barker he will go hit. for him, and uh. he's wide open. He's by himself, and he'll walk in for the touchdown from 17 yards out. I think we were the closest defenders on Barker, that play. Barker's that. arm even got hit. You can't tell me nobody knows where number three is? First score of the third period at the 10-second mark. And that is going to send some of the Patriot fans to the parking lot. To DePaulo's. Extra point up is, is up and good. We'll keep it here because there's only 10 seconds left in the quarter. 34-13, the Tigers lead as Markel Lowe, three, four, yeah. One, two, three, four, yep. That's his fourth touchdown of the night. Three running, one receiving. I think Barker came into 30 TD passes this season was the most in a single season, breaking the record of 29. So he'll pick up two another more. one, two He's more tonight. He's got two more tonight. And he was at 100 and something yards at the half. He's going to be close to, he only needed 200 something. Needs 216 to set the single season mark. For passing. Another interesting thing. Got to be close. Barker in the offseason worked out with a former WVU quarterback and NFL quarterback, Will Greer. How about that? It shows he's good. It's good. Princeton's going to be a, a, a tough out in the playoffs for sure. Two more years. 6'2. And being the quarterback. Good size quarterback at 6'2. Slinging, baby. Swinging. Patriots got their work cut out for them down three scores. Double, 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 
So that prolific second quarter that we had where South scored twice and Princeton scored three times, we get one score in the third. Garrettson throw on first down, nobody there, so he's gonna pull it down and run. Gage Wright kind of floating back there to take a pitch and just in case. Garrettson will pick up a couple of yards. And that's gonna be how the third quarter ends. Princeton in control, leading 34-13 over Parkersburg South. You're watching High School Football presented by WV Medicine Camden Clark on CAS 45. Healthy relationships, it's how we think about primary care at Camden Clark. When you choose one of our providers, you're starting a relationship with access to award-winning specialty care, diagnostics, and MyWVU chart. Our state-of-the-art user-friendly electronic medical records that's at your fingertips. Caring for you for over 125 years. We're the only local community health care providers backed by the power of WVU Medicine. Healthy relationships start here. Oh, trees decorated and fluffed? Check. Oh, gourmet foods all lined up and, oh yes, fresh samples? Check. Festive wreaths and perfect bows? Check. Well, she said we're ready and you cannot argue with Mrs. Claus. Join us for our Christmas open house November 4th, 5th, and 6th. And welcome back to Crown. Welcome back to your Christmas happy place. Fourth quarter, 12 minute stand between Princeton and a possible top four finish in the class AAA standings as they lead Parkersburg South by 21. Garrett's in the throw on second and long. Complete to Forshee and Forshee Breaks into Princeton tackles, territory down to about the Princeton 38. Talked about WVU Medicine Camden Clark providing ambulance service here tonight in the event. So far, everything's gone fine. Appreciate them being here in the end zone on call. Nice run. Near side and not a whole lot there. Whistle stops play so we don't have Bartlett, a big yep. pile moving forward. I say you're going to lose about half a yard on the run from Eli Bartley. <laughs> Second down for the Patriots, just inside the Princeton 40. They need to score quickly. Gerritsen with an empty set and flushed out by a three-man rush, and he's gonna try and run for his life around the corner. Direct in traffic will be submarined out there by Mosser, upends him, and it'll be third and short. Talked about that submarine, you can kind of see him there on your screen pulling the grass out of his helmet all over the place there. We've talked about the the Princeton Herp. winning in the trenches. Three-man rush flushed him out. Here's Gage Wright coming near side, trying to turn the corner at the numbers. Got away from the first man, will spin down to the 25 and have the first down. And we see one of the officials out there trying to get some uh, separation between a couple of players. You were an official, Joe. What are you telling those kids out there? Getting you want little, pepperoni on your getting pizza a little or shovey? mushrooms? Getting a little <laughs> shovey out there late in the game? I think at this point you remind them, if you get ejected out of here, you might miss the first round of the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just. <laughs> Five receiver set for Turner Garrettson on first down. And he'll run it himself, spread him out as he is upended. <laughs> In there to make the stop, Markel Lowe. Crazy fast running back and return man and a safety. <laughs> <laughs> They'll go four wide this time. Garrett's in the throw. Steps up, fires across the middle. Oh, that nice. is complete to nice. Forshee. Forshee cuts back inside and is down to the five. It'll be first and goal for South. South trying to dig out of a hole in a hurry. Nine and a half to go in the ball game. South knocking on the door. Gage Wright gonna bounce off the first wave. Oh. Got a wall in front of him and he'll take it in for the South touchdown. Gage Wright, his third touchdown of the night. 
There was nothing to the right, bumps into the entire offensive line, spins it back around to the left, walks it in basically. Nice job. Edge right, two touchdown runs and a punt return for a touchdown. Was this close to being three touchdown <laughs> runs? James Thompson on to attempt the extra point for the Patriots at 9.24 left here in the ball game. And flags and whistles. Who lined up all sides? Two foot penalty. <laughs> Up and through. Good. 924 left in the ball game. South trying to stay in it. Trailing 34-20 to Princeton. You're watching High School Football presented by WVU Medicine Camden Clark on CAS 45. Healthy relationships. It's how we think about primary care at Camden Clark. When you choose one of our providers, you're starting a relationship with access to award-winning specialty care, diagnostics, and my WVU chart. Our state-of-the-art user-friendly electronic medical records that's at your fingertips. Caring for you for over 125 years. We're the only local community health care providers backed by the power of WVU Medicine. Healthy relationships start here. It's game time, and One Community Federal Credit Union is here to help you tackle your financial goals. With our convenient and secure electronic banking and mobile services, we're taking our customer service experience to the next level. Plus, our CD rates are some of the best around, so you get more bang for your buck. When you need a loan, One Community can get you a great rate and a fast decision made locally. It all adds up to us being the Mid-Ohio Valley's winning team. One Community Federal Credit Union, online at onecommunityfcu.org. Well, Brian, we've seen a lot of short-sided kicks today, trying to keep it away. Uh, they unside break. attempt went four yards. Yeah, that's not going to work. I was going to say they're going to have Guys, to do it for real. They'd have had a better chance of just doing what they've done all night and yeah. just try to run it, down there and get or it. Or kick it. Uh, I forget what college team did it. They kicked it, like, right at somebody. It went right off his <laughs> face. <laughs> and that's a lot of football. So, Princeton with a two-score lead. And now 45 yards to work with. Oh, and it's, they're oh, going to get a do-over. Do. Much to, much <laughs> I can to hear the chagrin. The I can hear yeah. the boos from the visitor stands from here. 50 people on the visitor stands, and I think all of them are booing. <laughs> no whistle to actually start the play. South trying to uh, sneak up on it, kicking it right out of the huddle. So they'll re-tee it. 73, Tyson Wagner. One, two, three, four, five Princeton Tigers on the 50-yard line. South's going to spread it out. I think we heard the whistle this time. That's it. And it's going to be... Okay. Oh, he fell. Collins caught it in the air at the 35, and he slid, and his knee hit. <laughs> he's like, he's frustrated. And I had room. <laughs> so, Patriots playing a little field position. 9-22, down 14. Patriots with two timeouts left. Princeton with two. Princeton happy to shrink this game up. I think they'll keep it on the ground quite a bit to burn I some of that too. clock. Because Souths came close to interceptions, I think three occasions tonight. It'll be low. 
on first down, and he's good for about three yards. And we've, we've called Cole Middleton's name all night, number 50 for the Patriots. And uh, <laughs> that time he had him around the angles and still got still drunk. Got <laughs> Second and seven. Still 17 on the play clock. Tigers will snap it anyway, and it'll be low, and my goodness, uh, there he goes, near sideline. He's gone. Gage Wright trying to catch him. He's not going to get there, and Mark Hello will take it 62 yards for the Princeton touchdown. Two, three, four, five. Yep, that's five touchdowns for Markel Lowe. That the longest of the night at 62 yards. He's got five of their six. Yep. <laughs> and it's up and good. PAT's good. Less than a minute for Princeton to get on the board. 41-20 in favor of uh, the Princeton Tigers. Coming into this game, Markel Lowe had 121 carries, 1,077 yards, and 14 touchdowns. Now he's got 19 touchdowns. He was over 100, or no, he was close to 100 at the half. Uh, his, t his couple of his touchdown runs were pretty short. <laughs> He's well over 100 now. That was yes. 68 of it right there. Right there. And to think we were saying they were going to keep it on the ground to kind of burn some clock. Yeah. Yeah, It'd have been better mind. off just to pass it. <laughs> so he's he's got to be closing in on 1,200 yards for the season. And now 19 touchdowns. My goodness. Mentioned that. That boy good. We mentioned, <laughs> that. we mentioned that before, I believe. So just when just when the Patriots think they've they're, they're inching their way back in. They're down two touchdowns, nine minutes left in the fourth. Ripping and clawing, and just like that, she's back to three scores. Short pooch kick be taken at the 35. Out to the 40 is where the Patriots will start. Just after 9 o'clock here on the East Coast. Don't overthink it, but you, the way we've seen Princeton kick off, and, you know, you've got Wright and Garrettson in the back, you wonder why they just don't move up to, like, the 30 <laughs> as they get ready to kick. Because nobody's kicking it back there. Yeah. Just make them be the middle grouping. Garrettson will hand it off to Bartley, and Bartley is going to be pushed backwards, and he'll lose a couple of yards. And the Princeton defense, even with that three-score lead, is having none of it. I wanted to mention on the on the long touchdown from Lowe that we saw, which we had a real good vantage point at because they were right in front of us, the offensive line shoved, shoved. all the defenders <laughs> four yards down the field before he even, even encountered any resistance as Garrettson oh, will be sacked. That is DiGiacomo. Did I say it right? Dropping, yeah. The clock will continue to run. The sad thing was Garrettson had Fleek wide open down here on the left side. But with all that coverage Can't converging him. on him, he did. Third and 14 for the Patriots. Here come the Tigers. Going to be a screen out to Gage Wright. One-handed catch. Now shake and bake, trying to find some room down the near sideline. He'll get about four, and it's still going to be fourth and ten. 
the way we've seen him tonight, with all that coverage moving to the side, I'm surprised he didn't whip that thing back around the right and just try to <laughs> try to find something there with his speed. I think it's starting to get a little slick down there. I think it's it looks like we've seen some guys lose their footing. So I mentioned you know, the grass is in good shape and it was it was actually kind of thick. And as it's gotten colder, colder, I think it's getting slicker. Pass. On fourth and 10, Gerritsen lost it down the field and caught. Caught. Devin Forshee holds it in at the 21, and the Patriots get a big chunk and move down the field first down. Look at that, right in the basket. Beautiful camera work by our CAS crew here. Collins was there on the coverage, just couldn't get a hand on it. Garrison out to right in the flat. Gets through two or three Tigers, and he's going to take it to the end zone and run through somebody for the Patriot touchdown. Oh, oh yeah. There's the flag. Saw that coming. Gage Wright takes it in from 20 yards out. Caught that, right? Yes. Dead ball, personal foul. So Lowe has five touchdowns. Garrett or Gage Wright now has four touchdowns. So that makes your onside kick a little <laughs> different because it's 15 yards that way. <laughs> Thompson on for the extra point. Well, it looks like a lot of Princeton Tigers out there. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Hold up. Hang on. X Foster. I was ready. Hands up and through. Six forty-two left in the ball game. South trying to hang on here, 41, 27. 27. You're watching High School Football presented by WV Medicine Camden Clark on CAS 45. WVU Medicine Camden Clark's pediatric team is here to help you turn belly aches into belly laughs. Now accepting pediatric patients at our new location in South Parkersburg. It's big care for small patients. And that's the power of WVU Medicine. Rejuvenation Laser and Skin Center wants to welcome three new state-of-the-art machines to their location. The Physique targets stubborn areas that regular diet and exercise have trouble with to help you get the results you've been looking for. The Tetra is a CO2 laser that offers fully customizable skin treatments to help improve fine lines and wrinkles, scars, and more. The Pico helps remove tattoos and dark spots by offering laser skin resurfacing with no downtime. Call 740-538-9943 to book your appointment. Thank you to our friends at CAS Cable for being our sponsors for Belfry Homecoming. Thank you, CAS Cable, for supporting the Parkersburg South Marching Band. Thank you, CAS Cable, for supporting Discovery World! So expect an onside attempt here from Parkersburg South. After the, after the whistle. After the, yeah, after the whistle blows. <laughs> after the 15 yard unsportsmanlike penalty, they're kicking from Princeton's 45. Keep that in mind if it looks a little funny. They're on the other side of the field now. And a different kicker? This is gonna be James Thompson who kicks the extra points. And he is gonna squib it down there and the loose ball is gonna be covered up at the 24 yard line by Princeton, Klein will uh, fall on it, who has a touchdown reception tonight. Wyatt Klein. So the South defense desperately needs a stand here. And a quick stand. <laughs> Princeton can run about all the time that they want here. Oh, 
Barker will take the snap, low on his hip. It'll be low. There he goes. And wrapped up. Is it 50 again? 50 catch him again? Yeah. I think he did. Middleton, another tackle, but another first down for Markel Lowe. He is a junior for this Princeton team. Nice thing at 70. Good chance we'll see him again next year. 72 Landon Moore, a freshman out here on the line, getting ahead of Lowe. Motion. Same play. Right down the middle. Another 10 yards. Middleton got <laughs> holding on for dear life. And a flag down on the south side of the field. It's not the, I mean, you know what I mean, not the south side of the field, but like the Parker's. Closer the to the south there bench. You there you go. Looks like they're picking up that flag. Oh, picked it up. Without even a discussion. <laughs> Oops. So only a nine yard pickup. They'll call it second and one here as we're inside five and a half to go. Barker's gonna keep it himself. And he will collect the first down into the south bench area. Chance Barker has played himself one heck of a game here as the Tiger quarterback. Made some big throws tonight. And has efficiently run this offense. Yes. <laughs> so I don't I don't know if there's any Saturday games or not. So the SSAC should have their final rankings. Maybe tonight. Maybe tonight they'll have their meeting with the coaches on Sunday. Yep. Markel Lowe again. Host of Patriots there to bring him down <laughs> after about three or four. So, uh, you know, if you follow the SSAC on, on social media or uh, Fred Persinger from Metro News. Metro News will have things uh, they'll listed have it, there. Uh, they'll have it. They, they've, they've been prognosticating and matriculating and they've got all their numbers figured out based on who wins what and where and I tried to I tried to work the point system once no. and I got into the bonus point level and I was like this is ridiculous <laughs> so it's kind of neat they still bring Roberta Newton back after the SSAC now <laughs> I saw her this week it's like Roberta you enjoying retirement well yeah I kind of help Second and seven, oh. and Klein makes the reception, hangs on to it, tight ropes the sideline, and we'll have another Princeton first down. Wyatt Klein has done a heck of a job catching the football this evening. As evidenced by his jersey with a lot of green grass on yeah. it. <laughs> Made some big catches tonight, including the, the uh, opening score of this game. Play clock inside 10 before Princeton even comes to the line. And on first down, it'll be low. Coming to the short side of the field, Middleton's there again. Cole Middleton has Probably a dozen tackles just of Markel Lowe. Give him a yard, second and nine. Clock continues to run as we're inside, four minutes to go. Pretty good sportsmanship among those two as much as they've inter uh, interacted this evening. So Parkersburg South, Coach Tanner tells me that they're, they're in, but that 14 seed is probably not going to hold They're going to be on the road in the first round as Lowe goes right into the pile again for another couple of yards. Bodies flying everywhere. <laughs> so South will be in, but South will be on the road. Princeton will be in, and Princeton will be at home at least in the first round. Second and 
Running clock, three minutes. Respectful element at this point, just try to keep them out of the end zone. That's what South's hoping for. Yeah. 27 to 41. Don't need a 48 27 score. Snap with one on the clock. Barker to throw wide open uh, over the middle. And it's going to be another Princeton touchdown. Is that DiGiacomo? Yep. Yep. He will take it in. And South was gambling on everything and nobody down the middle. We've seen that middle open a lot tonight for them, haven't we? CAS 45 replay. Where were they? They about the 35-ish. Extra point is up, up and, and good. good. 2.41 left to play, and Princeton strikes again. 48-27 over Parkersburg South. You're watching high school football presented by WVU Medicine Camden Clark on CAS 45. It's football season, and CAS Cable has a deal for new customers that's a real touchdown. Right now, new customers can buy one month of internet service from CAS Cable and get a second month free. Rush to our website for details today. Tackle high prices with internet service from CAS Cable. What was that, too many football references? Did you know that 90% of the American Red Cross workforce is made up of volunteers? That's why we're asking you to fall into service this autumn. You can help families affected by disasters big and small with comfort, food, and shelter. Collect life-saving blood, support military members, and much more. Even medical professionals can use their skills to help in times of need. Go to redcross.org slash volunteer today to get more information or contact your local Red Cross in Parkersburg. So change a life and fall into service with the American Red Cross. Every time Parkersburg South thinks they've clawed a little bit closer to back into this game, Princeton keeps them at arm's distance and goes, yep, yeah, three scores is good. Another short pooch kick taken by South at the 40. Princeton scored one touchdown in the first, three in the second, one in the third, and two in the fourth. Compared to two scores for South in the second and two scores in the fourth. South has been within six and was in uh, at 13-7 and was within seven at 20 to 13, but has not been any closer, closer than since, that. No. Then flag from the back judge. Tushin on defense. He was trying to get him off. And it looks like they were trying to get Markel Lowe off, off the field. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, you don't need to play anymore tonight. Uh, yeah, he doesn't need to take <laughs> a chance good. of being You're out good. there. So first and five after the penalty. Garrettson back to throw. Tries to go to the sideline. Incomplete intended for Bartley. So Princeton is going to move to 9-1 and one on this 2023 season. Again, their only loss, a 56-42 setback to Hurricane in uh, early October. Other than that, they've run the slate. Parkersburg South is going to finish at 6-4 and four as Garrettson tried to throw. Now he's just trying to buy some time will flip it to Bartley, and Bartley's going to get a yard or two out of it. But South is going to be in the tournament, which is, you know, when it boils down to it, you just want a seat at the table. That's it right. It doesn't have to be a great seat. <laughs> <Within> this, <laughs> You're going to have to earn it. <laughs> within this AAA thing, you know, University High unranked beats number 8 0 kill tonight, 34-27. Number one, Cavill Midland wins. 
Looks like number four is going to take down Huntington. going to take down number two, Hurricane. Really? 21 to six in the fourth. Gage Wright goes off tackle and out of bounds along the far sideline. And he'll have the first down for South. Where's uh, Musselman PHS? Have you seen that one? Number 10, Morgantown's going down to Lindsley, 24 to seven in the fourth. Number 10, Philip Byber, 39-13 over Preston. Number 16, Parkersburg, 41 to 10. Final over Musselman tonight. Wow, big win for the Big Reds. Garrettson throws and intercepted. Picked off by Collins. And he's gonna be down at midfield. And that just about ought to do it. Third turnover of the night for Parkersburg South. Two fumbles and now an interception thrown by Turner Garrettson. And just too many, ball. Too, yeah. <laughs> Too many white shirts in that area right there. Do you remember we did the Parkersburg Musselman game last year and Musselman ran him out of the building. <laughs> so PHS went to the uh, returning the favor. Returning the favor. <laughs> and Princeton is gonna go into the victory formation with about 100 seconds left on the clock. Barker takes the snap. Nobody's coming after him, so the clock's just going to continue to run. He'll finally take we'll a knee and burn, burn, burn another five seconds off the clock because you guys ain't coming. That's, huh? when, <laughs> that's when things get chippy if you don't yeah. do that. Just yeah. go just down. Take a knee. Take a knee. <laughs> but I don't want the five-yard loss on my rushing record. <laughs> <laughs> Referee Rex Foster tapping him on the shoulder like, son, you don't need any issues right now. Just take the knee. Let the clock run. Don't want somebody come running in here and pop you. Let's see if lessons been learned. The officials have done a good job trying to uh, making sure that it stays under control. Is uh, <laughs> Rex Foster, head officials. Don't do that anymore. <laughs> so I told you I'm doing that. <laughs> so the thing is, Parker's now credited with 15 yards loss. Yeah. Well, has not taken a single snap under center. They don't even do victory formation under center. You're doing victory formation out of shotgun. shotgun. I've never seen that before. One more snap ought to do it. 48-27. Hang your hat on Markel Lowe, the junior running back. Five touchdowns tonight and an impressive performance by the Princeton Tigers. Nine and one and headed for the postseason. Parkersburg South, six and four. Also going to the postseason. They're gonna be a uh, be a long shot going into the uh, to the tournament. That's our last high school game of the season. We got one more Marietta College, College game for game you coming up week. Saturday the 11th, so make sure you join us for that as uh, the Pioneers take on the Muskies from Muskingum University. Well, Thanks, I'd like to thank you, Brian. I'd like to thank CAS, Brian Guthrie, for the opportunity to, to work this season with y'all. It's been a great time. And high school Look, basketball starts right December there. 4th. Right there. <laughs> so, let's get inside where it's warm, and we'll see you on the hardwood, guys and gals. Final score, 48-27. Princeton, a winner over Parkersburg South. Thanks for watching, everybody. You've been watching High School Football, presented by C uh, WV Medicine, Medicine Cameron Clark, Clark on CAS 45. <laughs> Have a good evening, everybody.